Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa NTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Kapin sa sakalibo ka mga traditional public utility jeepney ang namiligro nga di na makapamiyahe. Mayor Barcina sa karka na dismaya sa proyekto sa DPWH nga road widening. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News Ang Puwersa. Sa CCTN News Team, kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Mangayo si Gobernur Gwendolyn Garcia o Igong Bayad, gikan sa Department of Transportation, tungod lang sa pagtukod sa Cebu Bus Rapid Transit. Nasairan sa Gobernador nga mahimong dangatan sa Phase 1 sa BRT Project, din magsugod kini sa Kapitulyo, hangtod na sa Cebu South Bus Terminal. Ikablakan sa Gobernador ang katukuran ni ini tungod kay posibleng mahilabtan ang mga luna nga gipadag-iya sa Kapitulyo diha sa Osminia Boulevard. May pasalig ang CBRT project manager nga si Engineer Norving Imbong nga ipadangat ang maong concern ngadto sa ilang kadagkuan karong nga biyernes. Gikatakdang ipahigayon ang groundbreaking ceremony sa Bus Rapid Transit Project karong Lunes, Pebrero 27. Namiligro kutob na lang karong Hunyo 30 ang gibanabadang kapinso sa kalibo ka mga traditional public utility jeepney kundi sila magpasakop sa kooperatiba o korporasyon subay kini sa modernisasyon nga transport sector nga dugay na nga gitinguha sa gobyerno. Ang Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board una nang mipagawas o memorandum circular nga kutob na lang sa maong pizza ang mga individual nga mga operators o mga public utility jeepneys. Matod pa niya, nagikinahanglan sa Sugbo o 5,000 ka mga modernong PUJ apan sa pagkakaroon, 2,000 pa lang ang nagdagan sa mga modernong nga public utility jeepney. Doon ay 2,000 sub ka mga traditional public utility jeepney nga gitugutan pang makapamasahero kutob sa Hunyo 30 apan usa ka libo pa lang niini ang nakapaproseso aron magpasakop na sa kooperatiba. Danao City Mayor Thomas Mix Durano ni bisita sa Madawi City Public Market aron pagtan-aw sa mga programa nga gipatuman sa maong merkado aron ila kining maadap ngadto sa siyudad sa Danao. Nasairan nga ang gilauman nga masugda na sa Danao City ang pagtrabaho sa nasunog nila nga pampublikong merkado karong tuiga. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Gibisita ni Danao City Mayor Thomas Mix Durano ang Mandawi City Public Market kaganinang buntag. Kuyog ni Durano ang mga department head sa Danao City Hall. Tuyo nila nga matanaw o mahibawan ang maayong programa nga gipatuman sa merkado na mahimo nilang maadapt sa pampublikong merkado sa Danao. And then uh, land area wise, it's almost the same land area sa Mandawi City. And I don't, know, I don't want to go out na kanang lagyo na lugar. And then I think muning Mandawi was the perfect na maghatag na mong idea uh, how to proceed sa among plan pag-restore sa public market sa ganun. Learning stage pa magitatanan. Even sila sa Mandawi based among pag-questioning, they're still upgrading the facility, the services. So. Si Durano ni Ingon nga naa sa status ko ang pagpahiuli sa Danao City Public Market. Hinoon target nila nga masugdan ang construction karong tuiga. Makahinumduman nga nasunog ang Danao City Public Market, hunyo ni Aging Tuig. Status ko ron siya, wa na mo pa sa pasudli, but we have plans, pasudla na mo sa wet lang sa section. To discongest lang sa Danao. No? Kaya nga mo umanggod na kung mag-project na ta, magpasood na sa Migtao, amo na sa pag So we're still uh, talking with the council ni Vice Mayor Nito uh, how to go about. No? Na pasood lang na itong tao, then next month magkusugun tag construction. So maluoy sa ta sa mga tao nakagasto sa dito sa sun. Panigurado sa mayor nga ang mga naapektuhan nga tindera, ang ilang prioridad na makapahimus unya sa bagong merkado. Ang kapin sa usa kagatos ka mga tindera, ang gitugtan pagbaligya ang ato sa nagkalain-laing lugar sa Danao City. Mary Rosa Garino, CCTN News.
Nadismaya si Mayor Patrick Barsina sa Dakbayan sa Karkar sa nagpadayon nga proyekto sa Department of Public Works and Highways nga road widening tungod sa imbis kasulbaran sa trapiko ni taas na hinuon ang kutay sa mga sakyanan nga halos niabot na ngadto sa lungsod sa San Fernando ni adtong miaging simana. Ang nakapahinay sa dagan sa trapiko mao ang pagsaka sa tubig sa karsada diha sa rotunda sa siyudad. Mato di Barsinas nga ang DPWH nga kontraktor ni ini mudritso lang og trabaho bisat og wa pa masayod sa karaan nga proyekto sa siyudad. Ang gihimo niya nga temporaryo nga solusyon mao ang pagpasuyop sa tubig nga dibaha diha sa karsada. Gibanabana ni Barsinas nga ang proyekto ito nga road widening nga naa sa dapit sa rotunda, muabot na kini sa liba ka buwan. Lalaki nga wawo bayad sa iyang bayranan diya sa hotel gidakop sa gwardiya kasong stapa gipasangat sa management. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. Di ay 27 anos ka lalaki ang gidakop sa management sa hotel nga iyang gisakaan nga nabutang sa may Montevideo Drive, Barangay Banila at Sarakbay Subo. Human nga wala mo bayad siya nga bill. Ang suspitsado nga gipadakop sa gwardiya sa hotel o giturn over nga to sa Mabulo Police Station. Gila nga si Ronald C. nga taga PBN Housing, Barangay Busay, sa Sudan sa Subo. Na itong lunes, Pebrero 20. Uban siya nga hindi kong mami check-in kini sa Osaka Hotel sa Manila o nagparehistro sa pangalan nga Sheila May Manila. O pagka Pebrero 22, Merkulis sa Buntag, unang may check-out ang hindi kong mami Apat sa niyang gamot check-out na ang suspek sa alas 4 sa hapon, giprocess din ni ang iyang bayronon o gamipakita pa siya ang PayPal account na iyang bayran ang bill sa hotel na mabalor sa 13 mil kapesos pinagay sa bank transfer. Mato ni Police Major Iran Yurhidor, ang hippie sa Mabulo Police Station, na samta nagpaabot ang management na mo-reflect sa bank account sa hotel ang bayad sa suspitsado. May diritso lang kinigagawas na lang ang iyang maleta na doon ay ligid. Tungon ni Giapas kini sa security guard, ano ni Paibao nga dilit siya palakuan samtang wala pa mo-reflect ang bayad din sa bangko. Yes, yes, ilang gibiripay, wala ginitabo nga pang transfer. So murag mo kay gimo niyang uh, murag dipinsa nga nakabayad ko ma'am, siguro may problema ang kuan something ang network kay nana ba. So mao nang atong gipaybalo ang atong mga katawa labi na gyud sa mga owner of resort basing ugnay sa sama nga modus kay nana nga at least aware na sila no. Kung mahimo, uh, ikod jud nila nga para di sila madaganan kay og um, Waktu badakop sa Gorja, nakodako wala ba po, 3 mil kapit, so sayang po. Kung hindi, nagipaubos nila sa background investigation ang suspitsado nga si C kung wala ba'y laing reklamo ba ito kaniya sa obang hotel nga iyang gibiktima sa susamang pamaagi. Kasong istafa kung karapasan sa Article 315, Paragraph 2 sa Revised Penal Code, ang atumangong kaso sa suspitsado o kasamtangan karon nga nabalhog sa selda sa Mabulo Police Station. Arnold Bustamante, CCTV News. Maukad to atong mga balita sa alas 12, sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs, ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Seri 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTA Chapel. Daghang salamat.
from age to age and those who follow in fear whose arm is power and strength and scatters all the crowd of hearts who cast the mighty from their thrones and, and raises up the lowly of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Together with our personal intentions, let us offer this Mass also for the intentions of those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and also for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, cry out 
full-throated and unsparingly. Lift up your voice like a trumpet blast. Tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins. They seek me day after day and desire to know my ways, like a nation that has done what is just and not abandoned the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, please to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict yourselves and you take no note of it? Lo, on your fast day you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your labors. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high? Is this the manner of fasting I wish on keeping a day of penance? That a man bow his head like a reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes? Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, rather, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly and tying the thongs of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. My 
sacrifice, O oh God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. A blessed Friday to us. The reason why we do fast is because the Lord, not because he was taken away from us, but he went back to where he belongs. But then he promises to come again. But never did he also say, forget all the observances that enrich our religiosity or our faith. So fasting, abstinence, almsgiving, prayer, and many other things. These are things that can enrich the very faith that is God's gift to us. However, in our practice, there is always this juncture, or along the process, we do commit many blunders or sins. But today's responsorial psalm actually called the Meserere, the heartfelt prayer of a sinful person puts a very beautiful dimension and perspective of what it means to be in a constant struggle with our spiritual life, with our day-to-day -day living. And he puts that in the context or in the expression, my sin is always before me. Well, all sins are always before us, precisely because they cause a lot of conscientizing on our part, kusay di ta mahitab, di ta mahimulag, di ta mahimutang, no? Mag, mag, ano say tawag, ana? Mag, di ta katulog, ganang bang mag alindasay sa atong kinabuhi. Not that life is a constant sleep, but we are sometimes put into a context where we cannot really think well, we cannot act very well, we cannot actually do something good, precisely because we are being drawn down the thing is, it's just a question of actually accepting. No? Bisan gani sa ato ang mga panahon nga kwan, kabalo ba ito nga kita yung nagbuhat? Mangitag ito grason, nga nung ako itong nabuhat, nga nung ato nung himo, no? Well, that is always the dynamics of human beings as rational beings. But to be able to acknowledge really our, from our hearts that we are culpable, no? Nga kita sad ang yud ka, I think that's where the beautiful experience of grace would come. And that is the reason why every Lenten celebration or every, every season of Lent 
It is a constant practice of owning up pag-angkon sa mga kasalanan, dili lamang sa mga kasalanan because sometimes sin is done because we are strong. No, sin is sometimes done because we want to express our power, no, our freedom. But we also have to accept our weakness. Wala man siguro itaw maingon nga sadan ko and then you 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 are proud of it because you are strong. Nga nakasala ka, no? Most of the time when we sin, we always say, I am weak. I am constantly fragile. I am a human person. And this is very difficult to do. No? And this is what the challenge of the season of Lent is. Sulod sa korinta kaadlaw, o dili lamang sulod sa korinta kaadlaw. Every day of our lives, it's always a constant practice to own up things, to own up sins, to own up many things that we do, that we are responsible. And I would always use this play on words. When we are able to own, it is not something that is going to be done later. If we want to own, it has to be now. Karun yud kanunay. And this has been the constant call of the book of Deuteronomy. If today, no, if now you hear his voice, harden up your hearts. And by not hardening our hearts, the weakness, the experience of weakness is in itself the very expression of owning all the things that make us so weak. Because according to St. Paul, it is only when I am weak that I am strong with God's grace, blessings, and help. Amen. Jesus is the eternal bridegroom who ushers us to the joy of the heavenly banquet. In his passion, he would be taken away from his disciples. May our Lenten discipline mark our solidarity with the Lord. And so we say, Lord, give joy to our life. Lord, Lord give joy to our life. May the church never forget that she is the bride of Christ, espoused to him forever, we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. May nothing destroy that supernatural joy of Easter in us, even if we are undergoing moments of trials and darkness, we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. May fraternal love increase our capacity for joy. May we not focus primarily on our needs, which invites a joyless existence, we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. <clears throat> May we not fear going to the fringes of society to find Jesus who is already there in the hearts of our brothers and sisters, in their wounded flesh, and in their sorrows. We pray. Lord, give joy to our life. When separation and death take our beloved ones away from us, May we not give in to despair, but draw assurance from Jesus, who promised that our sorrow would turn into joy, we pray. Lord, give joy to our life. Father, may we keep the lamps of our faith burning in this life, and so merit to enter the banquet of eternal life with the eternal bridegroom, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever.
dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you and add to our powers of self-restraint. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith until you come Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil and Ruben, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, 
I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking in this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion. Through Christ our Lord. Prayer to Signor Santo Nino. Oh, Signor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders through your miraculous image in these chosen islands. Remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Signor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Signor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, influence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us lastly that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth, that we may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations, in hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials, in the failure of our plans and hopes, 
in disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. When others fail us and your grace alone can assist us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. When our heart is cast down by failure. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Always, always in spite of weakness, faults, and shortcomings of every kind. Let us pray. O Santo Nino who has said, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Give we beseech you to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with a whole heart in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a perpetual fear and love of your holy name, for you never fail to govern them, whom you do solidly establish in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O miraculous Santo Nino, standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts. Let your tender love so inclined to pity be softened at our prayers and grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. For your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. For your mighty deeds, O God of mercy, may your people offer endless thanks, and by observing the age of disciplines along their pilgrim journey, may they merit to come and behold you forever, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.